first guest is a superb actor, Scott Smith and recovering mutant. He co-stars among a cast of three in the critically acclaimed lockdown set movie, Together. I've got a boutique consultancy. We specialize in data analytics and finding technological multimedia solutions. I mean, for, what? For linear online broadcast marketing providers. We specialize in cost efficiency savings. I mean, what's so complicated mm -hmm. about that? Mm -hmm. When people, when we were first going out together and people would ask him what he did and he'd say all of that, I would just lean forward and go, he means computers. <laughs> Which is really funny, a million years ago. <laughs> August 27th, please welcome James McAvoy. The hug is the, the hug. safest, I really. I went in for a handshake. I know, but I find the hug better because then your disgusting mouth and nose are over my shoulder. I know, and you know, I'm glad that you've you, you brought up the topic of my disgusting mouth and nose. Um, <laughs> it's something I've, it's why I'm here to talk about it. Many people think I'm here to talk about Together, the movie, which is out 27th in theaters. But um, <laughs> actually I'm here to talk about my disgusting mouth and nose, which just spouted spittle. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> Everybody caught it. James. Everybody leave now, unless you're vaccinated. <laughs> uh, we met once before. We did. At a charity event. It was a soccer aid. Soccer aid. Soccer aid. Soccer aid, yes. I wasn't correcting you. I was just, I was just. No, I, I know, I was mocking you. I'm sorry. sorry. It, I'm always uh, mystified by accents, you know, because then you can talk uh, like in an American accent. And I always think, because I dated a... Uh, Who's the one I dated? Michael Sheen. The Welsh guy. Yeah, and I, he played an American in something, and I was always like, if you can talk normal, why don't you do it all the time? <laughs> See this? Very problematic. It's funny, because she means it. <laughs> um, so why are you here in L.A.? You're in L.A. for business? I'm here to talk about um, this movie we made in London called Together about two Celts living in London during the pandemic. Um, they wrote it for the stage, but the government wasn't letting anybody go to the theater, so they put it on TV instead. And uh, it's me and Sharon Horgan, who you may know from Catastrophe. Yes. Um, okay. You may know from many other things. She's just an incredible powerhouse of creation, let alone performance. And, um, uh, and it's about this couple who really don't like each other very much. They just stayed together for their kid, and uh, they're sort of arrogant enough to believe that the pandemic and the lockdown that's going to take years and years and years is worse for them because they don't like each other. <laughs> they, think it's, they think they're special. And I suppose it's this whole journey, it follows them throughout, I think, about 18 months of the pandemic and them being forced to deal with each other and kind of finding a way to love each other again and hate each other at the same time. Uh, and how can, you, how can you live together with somebody when you hate them and you love them and you find them funny and you find them abhorrent as well? <laughs> and um, it's all that together. So, um, and it takes in a lot of the stuff that we've all lived through. Maybe we haven't all lost somebody or maybe you know somebody who's lost somebody or maybe you've not lost somebody at all, but... Uh, I think we all can empathize. Whether you're exactly this couple or not, you can empathize with what they're going through too. And it's really funny, and it's really upsetting, and it's really romantic, and it's really anti-romantic all at the same time. Aww, I can't help, all right. Yeah, hopefully you'll do that after you've watched it as well. Yeah. I can't help but tell that you have a, a lot of people call it a man bun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I call it You call it a, a bun. bun. <laughs> a bun. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I feel like man bun is like saying lady pilot. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm... Thank you, Cleo. You know, there's like, that joke's not getting the laughs that it should because people are confused. <laughs> but they shouldn't be. And the reason they shouldn't be is because you're right. Um, I think uh, I decided to grow my hair long for this movie, which we made about five minutes ago. 
Uh, honestly, we made it in 10 days a couple of months ago, and it's already airing. It's that quick. Um, I know, it's crazy. That never happens in the movie business, yeah. does it? But it's all long scenes. It's like each scene is like 20 minutes long, and it's one camera, and it just follows us the whole time. So it was easier to edit. But um, the editor's sitting there, like, spitting right now, going, like, you thought this was easy to edit? Yeah. Um, it's so easy but, to edit. It's hard so, to act. Yeah, no, no. Man bun. <laughs> and um, I decided to grow my bun bun. Um, <laughs> because we just needed to show some passage of time. We shot it in 10 days. I didn't want to wear a wig, so I was like, maybe we can do something. I'll grow my hair and I'll have it long, but then I'll do a man bun and it'll show passage of time. Also, I thought buns are on a guy, not a man bun, but a bun happened to be styled by a fella. I don't know, there's just something slightly comedic about it and funny about it, right? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you see? I just had to point to it and you laugh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Didn't work second time, and um, uh, so I thought I thought I'll grow a, I'll grow a bun, and uh, and now I'm stuck with it, and now I'm just wandering through life being mildly comedic for nothing more than my bun bun. Yeah. Thanks. All right. You went to <clears throat> don't spoil him. You went to um, Disneyland for the first time. I did. I did. We went with the family. Uh, I nearly said the fam, but I thought with a bun bun, that's just too much. You can't do both. <laughs> no, I can't. Excellent edit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was amazing. It was really, really cool. We had a great time. And um, I was sort of, I was kind of nervous about going. Because um, it's a big moment, especially for, like, I grew up in Scotland and people, every now and again, you get one guy come back from the summer holidays and he'd be like, I went to Disneyland. And you'd be like, what? Where's that? I thought that was in cartoons. I'm like, no, it's a real place. You went, how did you go there? We went on a plane. And you were like, oh my God. And, uh, and it just sounded like this hallowed place. So it's, it is quite sort of built up in my head. Anyway, I was a bit nervous about going because I'd recently gotten off a plane from London. And um, even though I'm double vaccinated and all that kind of stuff, and I wore a mask and a visor and a hazmat suit and, um, <laughs> and covered myself in, you know, KY jelly the entire flight. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, no, I didn't have to, but, you that know. That didn't track, but I'm going I used it. to do it even before COVID. But, um, <laughs> but I thought to myself, I've just got off a flight, I'm going to be in massive groups of people and all that, I, I should take a test. And um, we have these, these rapid lateral flow tests that are given out by the National Health Service back in, in Britain. And we've got this guy back home who's been testing me for work. He's an Irish doctor, he's, hello. Uh, and he's intense. He, like, he gets into the back of your throat like only a, a specific performer from California might. And um, <laughs> he, um, he also gets deep into your nose because the, the rapid ones we have at home, they have to go down the back of the throat and they have to go down the back of your nose. He gets really deep down there. He says that if, um, if you get really deep down there, these rapid tests pick up 99% of the PCR positives. And I was like, OK, great. So I'll do that. I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my bathroom pre-Disney, gagging away, and I managed, I managed to pre-Disney, pre-Mickey, pre all the f happiest place in the world, managed to puke all over my bathroom floor, <laughs> slightly puke on my shoes, and when I looked up, I could just see my wife looking in the mirror, just going... <laughs> and she was brushing her teeth, just going, oh, my God, she caught the whole thing. <laughs> I'm... I'm what I'm what's referred to as a keeper. <laughs> Can we do this? Thank you. Let's do this. Um, <clears throat> I just want to bring this up. This is on uh, what is this on uh, um, online? There is a candle that smells like you. I just heard about this. Uh, is this the that um, that vagina candle just relabeled the? <laughs> There's a vagina candle? Yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. It's a um, candle. Did she, wait a minute, did she, did she manufacture and market it, or? I don't know, I only read headlines. <laughs> but, um... I know. Do you ever get that when people go like, hey, did you read this article about such and such? And I think that makes a big deal for the whole COVID situation. You're like, what, tell me more about it. And they go, no, I just read the headlines. No, yeah, only headlines. Oh. Only headlines. OK. You know, this is only, you uh, rank very high in this, you're between, in the ranking of how these sell. This is $28 candle, by the way. Your essence is $28. I know, I know. Everyone's got a price. You rank between a, the Johnny Depp smelling candle and the Paul Rudd smelling candle. Me? 
Yeah, I mean, I don't get the Johnny Depp one. He seems like he smells like uh, cigarettes and scarves. But uh, <laughs> congratulations on beating Paul Rudd. Congratulations on beating Paul Rudd. Listen, there's still a part of me that's like, wow, I'm in the same sphere as Johnny Depp on candle sales. That's amazing. And then with, with Paul Rudd, I'm like, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm only joking. I am only joking. He's a lovely fella. Um, thank you, James, for coming so thank much. Thank you for We're having very me. Loose, very loose, very fun. Thank you, guys. Together, the and we'll be back with Heiko YTP.